This is Jimmy Perry from powerlifting.website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And today I'm here to answer a question, which is, does gaining muscles make you slow? The quick answer to that is, F no, it does not make you slow. Gaining muscle, it depends on what kind of muscle you gain. I'm not going to make this a long video. I did some research because, obviously, you want to know. Like, this is something that interested me, too. So I'm like, uh, let me Google this. Let me check it out. And I did some research, and obviously... Well, not obviously, but I checked it out, and it says, no. I mean, it depends on the kind of muscle type, muscle fiber type you have, basically. So if you have fast twitch or slow twitch muscle, that basically basically, basically dictates, uh, or whichever muscle you develop more, that basically dictates, um, muscle fiber type you develop more, that dictates how fast or slow you are. So you can be, like, I've seen dudes who are, like, 200 pounds bulky as shit and still fast as fuck, like, can outrun me and a dude who you would think is, like, well, could have outrun me, a dude you would think is, like, really, like, fast because I'm light, I'm, like, lean and shit like that, so you would think, you would think they would out, uh, I would outrun them, but they burned me, and that's because, you know, they're explosive, they did heavy weight training, they, you know, already had fast switch muscle fibers, which are, the fast switch muscle fibers are divided into type, uh, 2A and 2B, and, Two type two is fast twitch and type one is uh slow twitch. Slow twitch muscle fiber and before I get into that, and this is something that actually interested me. A dude, I always wondered why bodybuilders they be huge and why where people even got the idea of like meathead from. Like they'd always say like bodybuilders or these huge dudes are slow and bulky and stupid, right? Not saying the bodybuilders are stupid because that's not true. Like I think uh. Phil Heath said he was an engineering major in high or college, so I'm not going to say that. That's a bad stereotype. But I always wonder how they did, like, why they said that. And it makes sense. Like, bodybuilders, I'm assuming some bodybuilders developed um, slow twitch, muscle fiber dominant. Not all, obviously. And this is just an idea that I had. Not all of them, obviously. Stan Efferding, one of one guy, dude. If you're deadlifting 700 pounds, obviously you got some strength and you developed your uh, fast twitch muscle fibers. You have a, like you're not fast twitch muscle fiber dominant, but you have a good mix of them both. Same thing with Larry Wills, dude was huge. Dude is huge. He's 23 and he's deadlifting damn near 900 pounds. To to do that, you have to be explosive. And when you see him lift weight, you see explosiveness. Like you see that he has it. So. That's one thing. And then there's, um, what's another one? Ronnie Coleman, he lifted a lot of weight and he had to, he was huge, but he still was explosive. And that's why he had a good mix of, uh, fast twitch and slow twitch muscle fibers. Um, in this article, I basically talked about that and went over ways to develop it. And basically the only way I went, well, there's obviously other ways. So performing explosive movements like plyometrics and, other things that add resistance. But the one thing that I focused on is uh, strength training because it's a pilot and website. So um, performing compound movements like the squat, bench press, deadlift, which is obviously powerlifting movements. Um, I think shoulder presses, some meets and shoulder press, but that's besides the point. Compound movements, heavy compound movements, and within the strength rep, rep range, which is one to six or one to five reps, um, with adequate rest will help you um, engage your fast twitch muscle fibers. Because, and also another thing that interested me is the fact, well, not the fact, but the idea, because I'm not going to say it's all fact, is the idea that you engage fast switch muscle fibers when your body has no other choice. <laughs> that interested me. That interested me a lot. So basically, they're the last resort. You engage them when your body, you need to engage them, which basically means they're the last resort and not fear, but that last, like, that impulse, like, that last, uh, little drop of whatever you have, whatever you need, it gives you that extra boost, it's, it's, it's why people run fast, and this makes sense, it's, I think, a mixture, and this is just idea, I'm just thinking, so it's probably a mixture of adrenaline, of fear, all of that, and engagement, engagement of fast switch muscle fibers is why people are able to, um, <laughs> run fast as shit while they're scared. Just the thought, I just thought about that, I'm just pondering, pontificating, whatever the fuck. Cool, uh, I'll link out to the article in the bottom of the description, uh, check it out. Um, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, follow me on social media, check out the ebook uh, that I released. It's only 99 cents, I wanted, wanted to make it free, couldn't, I'm gonna make the audio version free, hopefully. It'll be on the site, check it out. I'm also adding a video section to the site, which is interesting. I'm just adding so much, and I'm also making a lot. It's cool. Making a lot of stuff, like creating stuff, which is dope. Uh, all right, peace. See you in the next one.